In this video, I'm going to show you why the Power Twister Peck Stick is one of my favorite training tools. This simple, old school device can help you grow muscle and strengthen your chest, shoulders, and arms. Not to mention, when combined with other movement patterns, the Power Twister can boost performance in just about any lift. When I first got into fitness, the influences that I had, the experts that I looked up to, were strong. I wasn't really into the super shredded bodybuilding and physique side of things. I was interested in what the body could do, not just what it looked like. So naturally, I resonated most with the performance-based training styles of things like powerlifting, CrossFit, and strongman. And my favorite thing that I found through old-time strongman training was steel bending. And I actually bought a whole set of steel nails through Iron Mind, specifically made to practice bending. And I got totally hooked. The feeling of the nail slowly giving way under unrelenting force was so much fun. And it forces you to stay tight and absolutely focused. And I could see how this bending action could be useful in strength training. But obviously, bending steel nails just isn't practical on the day-to-day. -day. So my strongman phase came and went, and it wasn't until years later that I found something that could replicate that bending action in a repeatable and user-friendly way. I was following the work of Julian Pinot, and he used this old school spring-loaded stick to engage the pecs and teach using specific lines of tension. Soon after, I saw how DJ Murakami was using the stick in a ton of different fun and creative ways. So I snagged one about five years ago and immediately found great applications in both my own and my clients' training. And what I found was the pec stick helped in three big ways. First, and most obvious, was chest development. The pectorals can be a tricky muscle group to target, especially when you're working out at home with minimal equipment. Without a pec deck or cable machine, it's hard to train that squeeze where you're bringing the arms in together. The design of the pec stick obviously solves this problem, by providing more resistance as the arms come in closer together, which is actually the opposite when you look at a traditional dumbbell fly exercise. The second big benefit was an improvement in shoulder function, stability, strength, and a reduction in pain. The pecs and lats serve as the muscular foundation beneath the shoulders. When they are engaged and coordinated, we see an improvement in shoulder mobility and a boost in both overhead and horizontal pressing strength. Anecdotally, many of my clients report a reduction in shoulder pain. And personally, after years of struggling with tweaky shoulders, I've been pressing heavy consistently with no issues. All this while also practicing Brazilian Jiu Jitsu which is notoriously tough on the shoulders. Finally, developing a strong mind-muscle connection with the pecs will help increase strength across all of your major lifts. Now we know just how important total body tension is for maximal strength performance. And to generate that tension, we engage or squeeze all the major muscle groups of the body, including the quads, the glutes, the abs, and the lats. And rarely do we hear of the pecs being included in that conversation. But even in lower body dominant exercises like squats and deadlifts, pec engagement can help you get more out of every rep. If you're curious about the stick I use, I like the Python Power Twister, specifically for this handle design, where if you hold on the ends, you've got lots of great leverage, and by the time you hold in close to the springs, you're getting about twice as much spring-loaded resistance. I typically use the 45 to 110 pound rated stick, 
but they do make models both easier and harder. And now you know why I consider the Peck Stick a must have in your minimalist training toolbox. And if you wanna get the most out of your Peck Stick training, I have a comprehensive online course that you can learn more about in the description below. Thanks again for watching, wishing you all the best in your training, and we'll see you in the next video.